Let's get started. Let's blow some warmth into our hands. Just take a breath and blow into your hands. Now take your hands and place them right into your ribs. Now on your right side, your hand is over your liver and your gallbladder, which is the wood element, the element for spring. And then your left hand is over some of your spleen and your stomach, which is the earth element, which is associated with transitions. So give a little rub on both your liver and your spleen and feel into your body this morning how much pressure, also how fast those rubs are. And so our practice today is to celebrate the spring equinox. So today it'll be at 524 this evening. And then celebration, we'll be working with the wood element, which is this, the element for spring, but also the earth element, which is the element for transitions. But then also we'll add the water element because the water feeds the wood. So let's go back and circle the other way. And notice if one direction feels better than the other. So we're giving massages to our liver and our spleen. Now stop your rubbing and with your right hand, send a vibrant green light into your liver. Now with your left hand, send a golden light into your spleen. Your spleen is kind of, you know, the skinny organ that sort of starts in the front and wraps around to the back. And just send that golden light. Now take your hands and let's do a uh, little kidney circles. You can use the back of your hands or whatever feels comfortable in your body today. And so our kidneys are associated with the water element. Even though the water element is associated with winter, it's the water that feeds our wood. So nourishing our water is always a good idea. Now stop your rubbing, and the color associated with our kidneys is a deep blue. So picture that deep blue, and just send that into your kidneys. And then bring your hands to your lower belly. Take a slow breath into your belly while breathing into your kidneys and your spleen and your liver. Just notice what that feels like to sort of breathe into all those spots at once. Now as you exhale, as you take a deep breath in, just picture rooting from your lower belly down through your legs, out your feet. Just invite your feet to merge Connecting to the heart of the earth. Even imagine our liver and our spleen and our kidneys rooted, connected to the heart of the earth. And then invite the top of your head to just lift as if connecting up to the heavens. And then take another slow, deep breath in. slow breath out and turn your awareness inside your body and then opening your eyes lift up one heel and then the other I thought we'd start with this it's kind of like a little prance dance and we're lifting up the very bottom of our foot in between our the balls of our feet or the beginning of our kidney meridian our bubbling spring so kind of start to pump our bubbling springs and then see how that feels with your hands on your kidneys as you do that. And then just lift up both heels and just lift the bubbling springs, picturing that energy going up in our feet, just bathing our kidneys. And the colors are working for you today, like a bright, deep blue, and then down. And then with your hands still on your kidneys, start with some little tiny, do a spiral. Do a little hip circle, look like your tailbone, just tracing a little circle on the floor, noticing that you're getting sort of a kidney massage. Now, 
you could kind of wrap your hands around the front of you and you could sort of do a little bit, depending how big your hands are, kind of kidneys and spleen and liver. Play around with that. And little by little, with your feet rooted, make your circles bigger as you make a spiral. And then slow it down. And let's do a spiral. If I can remember which way that would be, go the other way. Feeling your feet rooted, crown of your head, noticing the massage and all those organs we were rubbing. Relaxing your shoulders and then slow it down. And then with your nose, start, well, it's a little spiral but with our nose. So trace the tiniest circle right in front of you. Almost like you're tracing a circle on a pane of glass. Dropping your shoulders as you do this. And then little by little, you start to draw a spiral as your circles get bigger and bigger. Just like the, the light for us each day, as our days are gonna be longer, the light's gonna be stronger. And then slow it down. So whichever way you did, I remember and go the other way. I'll do another neck spiral. And then when you reach with the maximum size of your spiral, slow it down. And then in your next inhale, do a little twist to the left. And exhale forward. And in this movement, opening the gates. Great movement for the water element for our kidneys. Just taking your breath in as you twist. Exhale to center. And the breath in the other way. Feeling that massage. Just starting to warm up our bodies. Now we're going to continue with a similar movement, but this time bring your feet together. Bring your hands in front of you. And as you take a breath in, turn your head over, turn your chin, and then turn your shoulders. And then as you pause in your breath, you're going to lean back and peek and see if you can see your heels. We're going to look in the direction up and then come forward. So in our breath in, turn your chin over your shoulder, then twist your shoulders. Then as you pause in your breath, lean back, however far feels right, and like I give her eye, a little bit close, and then come back. So looking back to banish all littleness, so take a breath in. And if your neck is as tight as mine, you might not be seeing your heels. And just look in the direction of, and come back. So let's take a slow breath in as you rotate, twist, lean, peek, pause, and then exhale as you come back. This is kind of a more involved why Sal turns its head, right? But I find this it's kind of a weird one. But also I find it can really help neck tension and shoulder tension. And I find squeezing your glutes as you reach back is helpful. And maybe each time, I know, each time I'm seeing a little bit more of my heels or all right, let's do one more to each side. And then come back. And we'll sort of do one more water element movement. One of my favorites. So take one hand, kind of find some spot for one of your kidneys. And we'll do transform a puck star. So with one palm, the other palm facing up toward the up in front of you, take a breath in. As you exhale, fold at the waist as you get to a diagonal sweep. Now as you inhale, sweep up on the diagonal. 
and then reach up as you a little bit lean back like we did before. Twist. Now this is where you pluck the star. Now, with your feet rooted, rotate as you're just so just turning from your center as you drag, kind of sweep your arm up in the heavens. Come back to center and pull your hands down. So that's the whole movement. And so this is an honor of the, the spring equinox. So let's put that with our breath. So take a breath in. And exhale as you fold over. Inhale, sweep up and reach and pull up as you lean back. Now exhale as you rotate. Now this is where imagine you're kind of dragging the star through the sky. Now inhale as you rotate to center. As you exhale, all of that sort of starlight, imagine just filling your body with it. So we'll go to the other side. Take a breath in. Exhale as you fold. Sweep up. Now pluck your star, which is potentially somebody's sun, right? And then you to bring it back and then fill with that starlight. I'll do one more. As you sweep. And sweep up, lean back just a little, reach up, pull up your star with your feet rooted. Rotate as you transform that star into the Milky Way. Come to center. And then the best part, and just fill with whatever serves you today. And then with your hands at your about your waist, and take your have one hand on top, and that hand's facing the earth. And you're gonna twist just from your waist, and you're gonna push and come back to center. So switch hands, and then whichever hand is on top is the direction you're twist. No, other way, opposite, obviously. Twist. So do with our breath. Take a breath in, and exhale as you push. Now, the name of this is very creatively turn waist, push palms. Wonderful movement for the wood element and the earth element. So as you push, you're just turning from your waist, not your hips. Your hips are stable. And you're tapping into that sort of inner power. As you do this movement, Think about that bright green light bathing your liver on the right, that golden light bathing your spleen on the left. Let's do one more to each side. Maybe sinking a little as you push and twist. And then bringing your feet close together, crossing your arms. We'll do sort of another twisting movement, which will be also supportive of the earth and wood element. You're gonna take a breath in. Now let's take a breath in and then exhale. Now as you inhale, you're gonna twist to the right. As you twist to the right, your right leg goes forward and you look back at your right hand. <laughs> so did I? Uh, do a mirror image right. I might have, I might have not. So take a breath in. Now as you twist, whatever leg is front frontwards, that's the arm that goes back as you twist. So. Now do you breathe in when you push or out when you twist? I would say, what does your body tell you today? My body's saying, exhale as I twist. But I'm going to try it the other way, so. Yeah, yeah. So inhale as you twist or not. The most important thing is if you choose one pattern, you're more likely going to be in your body and present. So inhale as you push back to eliminate all illness. So let's do one more to each side. 
And then relax. Then take your left hand and bring it right by your ear. And your right hand right by your liver. Your feet a little bit shoulder width apart. Take a breath in. As you exhale, push your hands apart as you sink a little. And then kind of windmill your arms back. So now that your right hand's by your ear and your left is by your spleen. So take a breath in. Exhale as your palms push away. And then rotate. So the hand by your ear is facing the heavens. The one by your waist is facing the earth. So the one name is between heaven and earth. Another very anatomical name is push hands to nourish the spleen and the stomach. And then rotate. Let's do one more to each side. And then lifting one hand in front and the other just behind. And we'll inhale as you lift up. This is raising the sun, right? So as the sun each day will be a little higher in the sky, its path. So inhale, lifting that sun most likely lifting our spirits as we get longer days, warmer days. And then taking both hands and lifting that sun up into the sky. And then an exhale, bring it down. We'll do gazing at the sun. So exhaling as you bring that sunlight down and then inhaling as you lift that sunlight up into the sky. Let's do one more to each side and then continuing with that sort of twisting, letting your arms be heavy knocking right under your collarbone, letting your back hand knock, ringing the temple gong, knocking on our kidneys. And then slump down. Let's just do a little shaking. Feeling into your body today. If you would like shaking, let's go kind of deep or shallow, fast. And breathing in through your nose and out your mouth with a contented sigh. Ah. Let's do two more of these. Ah. Ah. And then slow it down. Turn your awareness inside your body and your stillness. Just notice any movement. And then opening your eyes, bring your palms really close. Maybe do a little, almost like you're making one of those snakes out of clay, putting your awareness in between your palms. Just noticing any sensations. And then on your next breath in, pull your palms out just a little. As you exhale, bring them together. Now put your awareness between your palms and imagine you have like a sunbeam between both centers of your palm. And as you inhale, that sunbeam is growing. And then as you exhale, that sunbeam is just condensing, standing a little taller. And as you inhale and then sinking just a little Relaxing your thumbs. Now we're playing with a chi ball or playing with the sun. Now rotate your hands so that one is up and one is down. Now as you take a breath in, start to rotate it and then exhale down. So inhale and exhale. And 
play around with how big a ball kind of feels just right for you today. Keeping your awareness in between your palms. And just growing this ball of light as our sun grows for us, grows in the amount of sunlight we get, and the strength. Now, one hand on the top and one hand on the bottom, whichever way your fingers are pointing, shift your weight that way, and then rotate your ball. Shift your weight and then turn your body. And this can be playing with a sunbeam, right? So picture you've got that warmth of the sunbeam in between your palms. I'm just inviting them. And then play around with kind of how big, maybe it's a little bitty sunbeam. Or maybe it's so much larger. And then just shifting your weight and then turning and then rotate. us breathing naturally, keeping your awareness between your palms, maybe even feeling that warmth of your sunbeam. Now bring your sunbeam, shrink it a little bit, rotate it. You're going to turn toward the right. As you turn to the right, you're going to lift your right hand up and then bring it down. Now you're going to turn the other way. Now your top hand, imagine your top hand is pulling your bottom hand down. So this is the beginning of this movement. It's called Uniting Three Hearts. We'll first do this, this part. So we're seeing chi ball, but this time the top hand is pulling the chi ball up. Now as you sink your arms, the bottom hand is pulling Pulling the chi ball down. And we're just turning from our center. All right, so that's the first part of the uniting three hearts. So let's start. So inhale up. Exhale, bring your ball down. Inhale, lift from your top hand. Exhale, pull from your bottom hand. We do one more. Inhale. As you exhale, pull from your bottom hand. Now your right hand is going to uh, do a little hook and imagine you're a tree growing up toward the heavens and now you're going to draw an infinity sign connecting to the infinite resources of the universe and then bring all those resources around and then we'll start over. Now top hand pulls, bottom hand pulls. Up. Exhale as the bottom hand pulls. And I'll do one more on the side. Now your left hand is going to do that little curl. And this is where you kind of grow up toward the sun. And then you're going to, with your palm, draw an infinity sign or an eight up in the heavens, connecting to that infinite resources, and then paint those resources all around. Now float both hands up and your palms are going to connect to the energy of the earth. Glide your hips back as you embrace the earth. Now that same little kind of curl of your hands, you're going to curl your hands up as you come up. And now as you come towards your eyes, have your palms go over your eyes. Now connect your palms and here's like a heart. Now that heart, we're going to Open up around us, and then about your shoulders, turn your palms to the earth. And we'll do two more of those. So glide your hips back. Bring the backs of your palms as you, so your stem reaches up to the heavens, right at your eyes. Have your palms go over your eyes. And then reach up. Now take this heart all around. Let your shoulders turn your palms down. We do one more. So, up, down. So 
So that, I just think this is such a beautiful movement. So let's do one more, one more of it. So inhale, lift your ball up. Exhale, pull the ball down. So we'll do three of these as the top hand pulls. And now the bottom hand leads. So now your right hand, this is Imagine any plant that's now reaching up toward the light of the sun, connecting to that infinite energy of the sun, painting that energy all around. Now, here comes our next chi ball. As it moves. Now your left hand's gonna curl up, and this is where you're gonna grow, reach up to the heavens. Connect to that infinite energy of the sun. Now paint that rainbow of light all around. Now uniting three hearts, which is uniting the earth, the heavens, and then us in the middle. So connect to the earth, embrace it. Now turn the back of your fingers toward each other. And this is where that energy comes up through our bodies. Now we raise our eyes, which is actually connected to the wood element. And then we reach up, connecting to the heavens. Now, here comes that energy all around, like a heart. And we do the two more of these. So, inhale the energy, your eyes. Exhale as it comes down around. And then inhale as we connect to the earth. Exhale as we roll up. Inhale, breathe in that energy as it bathes your eyes and your face. Reach up to the heavens. Now, invite that energy as it cascades all around. And bring your hands to your lower belly. Bring your feet close together. And just let your body rock and sway like you're the trees, maybe the buds are swelling, maybe we or the but the leaves are actually starting to come out. I just rock and sway, feeling your roots connected to the heart of the earth. Inviting the crown of your head, just like the crown of our trees, just reaching up toward that glorious sunshine. And then Slow it down. Turn your awareness inside your body. And then giving a rub on your belly, and your liver and spleen, and your kidneys. And then wrap around and at your heart center. Give a little rub. A little gentle bow to your head. And give gratitude. For all that you have. And give gratitude for all that you are. And send out some of this energy that we've cultivated to someone that could use it. And then inviting all that light of the returning sun for us, the returning longer days, to just fill your whole body. And thank you, and happy spring equinox. How exciting.